based on the topics of the day. Topic ya kwanza nataka kwa address. Mambo ya gas nilisikia uh, nilisikia William Ruto vizuri vile anaongea. You know, I don't waste my time listening to William Samuel Ruto. But uh, I, I got uh, that courage yesterday na nikamsikiza nika, nika vizuri. So Ruto Ruto alikuwa ameulizwa ile mambo ya gas uletuambia ikifika mwezi wa sita, uh, itakuwa mia, mia tatu na mia tano. Sasa hii June inakaribia. What is the way forward? Sasa Ruto aliruka live. Anaambia hiyo gas ni yenyu. Mimi nilisema mtungi. <laughs> no, that's what Ruto has been doing even with when he was campaigning. When you tell him this, anakurudisha pande ile nyingine. So jana alikuwa anasema wewe kama ulisikia mambo ya gas, hako hako anamaanisha ati atakujazia gas. Ati gas ikuwe bei rais. Alikuwa anasema yeye alisema mtungi. Na wewe ukijua kujaza gas ndio 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 ngumu because it is something which is recurrent. Recurrent means inajirudia. Ukifanya mwezi hii mwezi mwingine itakuwa inarudia hata kama ni 500 itakuwa mwisho itakuwa hata hata vile 1000. Turuta anajua hiyo ndio ngumu. Sana kuambia yeye akusema mambo ya kujaza gas. So wewe kama uko hapa Ruto alisema jasa gas yako. Usisumbue mtu hapa Nairobi. <laughs> Alikuwa anasema hivyo. Alafu kitu ya kitu ya kitu ya pili Ruto aliulizwa. Hii mambo ya gachagu wa kusema eh yaani ku equate Kenya to, to be a, a shareholder company. Alisema gachagu wa kuna akili. Anaweza jibu hizi vitu. Na watu wote walikuwa wamekuwa wakisema gachagu wameimkata. Hata hizo vitu anaongea they don't know whether he knows what he's talking about. Then Ruto is still telling you to go and ask Gachagua. <laughs> don't you see controversy? And that's why, mimi kama political analyst, mimi nilesema hata, hata kabla tujengia kwa uchaguzi. And I want to address William Samoy Ruto without blinking my eyes that William Ruto is not the right person for this country. Na kama uko kwa nyumba yako, unangojia kazi. Ati Ruto umemuchagua, alafu ukarudi kwa bibi yako, ati umefanya kura. Iyo kazi utangojia for five years. Because this, this, is not a, this is a wrong guy leading our country. And I'm foreseeing something as a political analyst, Mr. Speaker. I'm foreseeing a situation where Raila is going to work with William Samuel Ruto. I'm foreseeing that. Because we have seen uh, some national uh, uh, meetings. Tulikuwa kule Matanga, na jana pia alikuwa kwa gorma, CU gorma hiya na AFC, walikutana hapo. Na nikisoma body language, mimi kama political analyst, na nimeanalyze, na nimeileta kwa bungi leo. These guys are likely to work together. And the moment they will be working together, the moment they will be working together, be, be sure that you have a wrong, a wrong president being backed by the right people. And there's nothing, nothing will be achieved in this country. <laughs> nothing will be achieved in this country. Ruto is telling us at Yeni Alepeo Gola Kazi. Yeni Alepeo Gola Kazi. Na anambiwa hapu kwa mekwa kamera. These are military protocols. They don't need presidential approval. Then I, he's saying I had got options. Ten options. Over ten, Over ten options. So he's telling us that he gave Ogola Kazi kwa sababu Ogola ni mjaluo. So he, he wanted to balance the country. But if you see the appointments Ruto is doing today, Nichikipchirchir, Korir, Sasijui something, then Ruto is leaving behind very educated people, people with a lot of degrees. And now now na Millicent Tomanga sasa ameingia kwa hiyo, hiyo ofisi, na anafungua sava yake yeye mwenyewe. Na nyinyi mnangojia kazi. Hakimi sasa speaker watangojia. Thank you. Sasa number 2.